Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. If you're all caught up from last episode, you will remember that today we plan on going to the Nether. Uh, we had built the uh, the portal last time, so this time we are going to go ahead and light it and see if it works. I believe I built it correctly, but I guess we're going to have to find out. Ready? Three, two. Oh, look at that. Very, very cool. Okay, now the reason why I kind of built it a little bit away from the house, I don't know if you know this, but listen. Ready? If you listen hard enough, you can hear the, the, the portal make all these swooping sounds. We don't really want that every time we, uh, we, we are up in our house or anything like that. As well as zombie pigmen can come back, even though they're not, like, uh, vicious right away. Um, still better to be safe. So let's go ahead and get into the nether, I think. Uh, I'm glad I carried my boat because that's useful in lava. Um, that that sarcasm. There are there are a few things you should never bring to the Nether. Uh, actually, two in specific, or three blocks of ice because those are pointless. They just break. Um, we're gonna put this fire out, and I'm gonna start building the house as I tell you. Um, box of lava. I mean, blocks of ice. Um, buckets of water. How is my pickaxe already like basically gone? Uh, buckets of water. And finally, beds. Now, <laughs> um, I will go ahead and show you, I guess, what beds do here in a little bit. But uh, right now, I just want to build this this safe haven because if a gas spawns, we do not want to be caught in the crossfire of it. Um, so I like to build ourselves a little house. Plus, it, it helps uh, signify where we live uh, because obviously a building made out of cobblestone is not a natural structure in the nether. Um, what I usually like to do is I usually like to put like uh, up like an arrow over the over our over our house in the Nether, like I did in the uh, in the house in the uh, overworld, our first our first hidey hole. This is actually really cool looking, uh, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do that. But what I will do is I'll go over there and I'll grab that glowstone that we can see, and I'll put that uh, like in a pile above our house, and hopefully that'll signify exactly where home is for us now we're not gonna go too much higher I just want to get up at least to the roof oh this is another block we uh, we have not seen yet Give me a second so we're, we're gonna we're just now we're just gonna cap this off by the way uh, this is a this is another quartz and another quartz uh, while giving you quartz when it's mined uh, if you use fortune you'll actually get more pieces as well as uh, nether quartz is like one of the best ways to get experience if you just go to the nether and you mine nether quartz it, it's gonna it's gonna give you a lot of experience very quickly uh, so keep that in mind if you're ever like, oh, I need to enchant this, but I don't have any money or any experience. Uh, and as well as don't forget that lapis is now a factor in enchanting. I always forget that. And we only have two pieces of lapis right now. So if we find diamonds and we create an enchanting table, <sighs> I can't believe I fell. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to the overworld already because I need to go get us another pick because I didn't see how low that our pick's uh, durability was. And as well as, well, we'll go ahead and make a bed. I think we can't. No, we can't, actually. I think we only have one piece of wool, right? Oh, we have five. Cool. Okay, so we will make a bed. All right. And we and I will show you... Uh, I'll show you what happens when you do that. Um, and then what else was I going to grab? Oh, yeah, our pickaxe. Duh. So, yeah, uh, it's really great for enchanting. Don't, don't forget that because uh, it's... It's definitely like it's one of the best ways to do it unless you have like an auto and experience farm But I don't know how that would work. Uh, oh, yeah, I was gonna make uh, A bet as well, and then these are these are also other things that we need to make while we're that will like before we go We're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table and we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a chest because both of those are very important than another And what I usually like to do when I get to the nether is um, obviously Lay down that crafting table and that um, chest. Now, what I do with this is I'll go ahead and do this and this. And then what I'll do is I'll put this flint and steel in the chest. Because nothing is worse than having a portal break when you're in the nether. Like So if something ends up happening, like if I place a block in here and this goes away, uh, we are going to want, obviously, that, that not to happen. So we can relight it with that. That's the idea is that is that we just need to be safe. Just got to keep an eye out here. Now there was a corner that I did not fill in. Yep, this one. So we'll just fill it in by pulling up and then 
We're going to go ahead and make ourselves a roof hold. No, I'm not going to try to make that jump. That would have been a risky one. Oh, and I fell again. Are you kidding me? Awesome. Okay, so because I keep falling and I got a feeling I'm going to do it once again. I'll just go ahead and... <laughs> and there we go. Now we have a, a staircase up to the top for when, whenever and if ever we need it. We'll just do this the, the correct way for now that I've messed up so many times. Okay, you hear that moan? That was a ghast. Ghasts have always scared me, if you did not know. Uh, it sounds, sometimes they sounds like they say Ricky, and I'll point it out if I think I hear it. Uh, if you don't know, that is my real name, Ricky, obviously. Uh, Ripped Rick. Or, not my real name, I'm, I, I don't know how to explain it. That's my nickname, I guess, I've been called all my life. So if you ever see me somewhere, either yell Rip Drick or, or Ricky. Because either of those are acceptable. Okay, so these are zombie pigmen. If you don't know, zombie pigmen carry golden swords for the majority, I believe, actually, all the time. And uh, if you deal damage to them, all of them become aggroed on you, at least up to a certain distance. Um, so, yeah, don't just don't hit them. That's pro tip, uh, pro-life tip. Don't, don't hit things that are not mad at you all, uh, yet. Uh, let's go ahead and lay down our door. Actually, I kind of want to... Just so the block under the door is not broken and the door is not broken because of it. There we go. And that'll be fine. Uh, we're also going to want to light up the inside of this. Because zombie pigmen, like I said, do spawn in here sometimes and they will come through the portal and we just don't want to have to deal with them. Uh, whether, whether they're in... Like, what are you doing? I'm trying to speak here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk and trying to explain things. And all you're doing is just distracting me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, you should go somewhere else. Excuse me, sir. This is my home. Thanks for the concern, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look around the nether. Um, I don't know if my render distance is all the way up. Let's go ahead and check. It's not. Let's go ahead and turn it up for you guys so we can actually take a look at the nether uh, in its true form. Because the nether is always better when you can see really far because, uh, uh, like, the way things are generated. Like, there's huge lava pools and things of that sort. I said I was going to come grab some of this glowstone. Glowstone is going to be used... What? For some reason, this glowstone's not dropping. It's not getting rid of it, either. Say what? Can I get rid of anything? Whoa, lag. It's because the render distance changed. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so maybe we should turn that down a little bit then. It's just because I made I jumped the render distance like a ton. So it freaked out my computer. Plus it's trying to load that gas over there. Uh, which we don't have a bow and arrow to take care of. So if we run into it, we gotta knock back its fire charges. Like so, back at it. Um, yeah. Okay, so now let's grab this glowstone that I was grabbing prior. There we go. That was really weird. What are you firing at? What are you fi Dodge it. Nice. Yeah, eat it. Eat it, punk. If we hit him, if we hit him back, we get an achievement as well. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, yeah. Now, glowstone is mined uh, just the same way as like the quartz would drop or the lapis would drop. If you have a fortune pick, it'll obviously do a little bit better. Oh, did I hit him? Oh, no, no, no. I missed. Come on. I will lead him. Come on. I'm going to hit him back. Yeah, keep getting closer. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah, we got him. Okay, let's go. Let's go see if we, he dropped anything. That was such a good shot. Oh, man. Let's hope he drops something for us. Oh, he did! Sweet, we got a gas tier, you guys. Gas tiers are absolutely awesome. Um, they are used in potion making, and obviously we need to make a lot of potions. That's the reason why we came into the nether in the first place, is because we need a few things in order to get night vision potion and a potion of water breathing so that we can go and take over that uh, ocean monument that we found in an earlier episode. So let's go ahead and... Uh I don't want to lose our house either, which is right there. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, oh, that could have been very bad. Run and dig our way out, and then we'll always have a way out. This is what we're going to do. Ready? We're going to go ahead and make ourselves the glowstone again. 
right? And then we will uh, we'll make it very unnatural. So now we know that our house is right around the corner if we see that pillar. And what we'll do is we'll just use four, four high pillars in order to mark our way home. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up right here on this ledge. Right here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and now a oh, little bit of damage. No big deal. Let's eat up. Uh, now, if we see this pillar, we know we're, we'll know we'll be very, very close to home. And we're, we're just gonna keep doing this kind of thing uh, for a little while, at least, like in in the areas. Because I mean, if one thing is terrible, it's getting lost in another. Especially because there's no way back if you do. Like you know, you can't just have another portal. Like, they don't just hand them out free. So let's go ahead and put another one of these guys here. Oh, that's starting to look real good. Okay, now, remember that chest that I put down? There's a reason I did that, uh, as well as for holding the flint. If we come across valuables like this gas tier in the nether, um, because the nether is a little bit little bit more unpredictable, uh, we can go ahead and put this gas tier back in this chest, and then uh, we'll just bring it back into the overworld when we need it. We'll also drop glowstone and that kind of stuff, as we don't need it. Uh, just so our inventory doesn't get full. So yeah, this is the nether. Uh, nether also spawns nether fortresses, um, which is what we're going to be looking for, especially if we want to get across to the wither or things like that, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Wither is a very uh, very strong boss, I guess you would say, one of the, one of the bosses of the game, and uh, you need to mine wither skeletons for it. I've actually never done it naturally. Like, I've never found one, mined it, like, without using mods, obviously, to... Uh, to speed up an automated killing process for them. Let's just go ahead and... We're just taking a look around. We're going to see if we can't spot a fortress. If we can't, it's okay. I mean, there's always... We, I, I can always go searching by myself. This is so cool. Like, if you look at like the lava pillars and all that kind of stuff, it's absolutely beautiful. Even for being, like, all the same thing. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't run across uh, a lot of things, actually. There's a lot more things in the nether now. And... I mean, it just seems like we're missing. Okay, we came from that way. And the music changes in the nether. If I'm quiet enough, you should be able to hear. Okay, so we see something over there. That right there is soul sand. Hopefully we can find ourselves a few pieces a little bit closer than that. Or we will eventually. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of lava spawning and lava pools in the nether as well. Let's go ahead and eat up again. I know it's because I'm running around a lot, and we're not going to be able to stay here very long because of how much food I actually do have. Good thing the farm is doing well, though. Um, it's almost becoming self-sustainable, but we will have to go get melons. Uh, at least a couple more times. Oop, almost didn't make that jump. I thought I was running, but I wasn't. So, obviously, we have a ton of nether quartz, which is awesome in case we need to enchant or want to build something out of nether quartz, which I think we will do eventually. I just don't know what to build. Uh, if you have an idea for that, please leave it down in the comments section below. No joke. Uh, I will take that in heart. Oh, and here's a baby uh, zombie pigman. Hi. Where are you going? Oh, okay. We came from that way, I remember. So we're just going to come around this way and try not to get lost. And, like, uh, a lot of the cave systems are, are really interesting in this. Because they're not like cave systems, they're like awkward tunnels like that. So there are many different ways to get back to your house. And what I should have done is I probably should have made myself a book and written on the coordinates of our home. And this is what I was talking about with another fortress. Uh, here it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark it somehow. What we'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, I'll build a really awkward pillar right here. How many pieces of cobble do I have? Not that many. Okay. We're going to build like an awkward one right here. All right. And what we'll do is we'll come up. Right. And then we'll put a torch at the top and we'll jump. So now that awkward, we know this awkward torch thing and we'll put another one here. Marks our uh, weather fortress or, or another fortress. We want it to be apparent that this is where we need to go to go find those guys. Okay, now home should be just back this way. Just over this ridge. Hello. Okay. Um, 
we'll put up another pillar. But instead of it being just a pillar, we will uh, do one of these, do one of these. Uh -huh. Oop. Like that. Okay, so now when we run across this, we know we have to go that way. Keep going. Oh, and see, there's the pillar from home. So what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to mark it one more time in case we can't see that other pillar. So if we get to this one, obviously we'll have a look around and we'll see that we need to go that way. From home. Now I know I know what you're thinking, Ricky. Why why are we running away from the from the 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 fortress right now? It is because we are very underprepared for it. Uh, if we're going to go in, I would I would really enjoy to have some diamond armor, and so I think that's what we will be doing uh, in the next episode. Is 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 prepping by trying to find diamonds, and I will speed that up because I know that diamonds can be really annoying to find. And then we'll just we'll go ahead and plop. Uh, these guys down at this base so that we know which which marker we need to go up to and we'll see that marker and then we'll see the next marker is not awesome so we got a system of markers now let's go ahead and get back to the overworld because we do need to prep a little bit more or, or we need to take care of the house chores kind of uh, we'll go grab some more melons and hopefully breed the cows again I'm not sure if that's gonna be if that's gonna be ready but we'll see Okay, and we do already have a boat. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's go ahead and sleep, I guess. But yeah, I really ended up liking the look of this. I think I'm going to clear this out a little bit more, and we'll make it look like a lot less natural in here, even though from the outside you wouldn't be able to tell that, that this thing kind of exists. We're kind of the kings of the mountain, if you catch my drift. Uh, that would be a Hobbit reference if you caught it. Congratulations. Uh, I just finished watching The Desolation of Smog, and I really enjoyed it. Um... It got me kind of in the castle building mood as well. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I thought I thought it was really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and go, go ahead and hop in a boat and go grab some more melons. Hopefully they are uh, growing pretty well. And we'll, we'll I, I, I don't really need pumpkins. The thing is, is, like, we're not making pumpkin pie right now. You know, we should make pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. Hmm. I think in the next episode we're going to make pumpkin pie as well. So we will we will mine up these uh these pumpkins because that's pretty important. Oh no 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 no! I said I was gonna break it with my sword and I did it. Nice. Yeah. So let's go ahead and grab everything we need. Oh, we left the gas tier uh, back in the nether, but that's fine as long as we know that that's there. Um, and as well as like we don't have another chest, so that will be our nether chest for now. I don't know how many pumpkin pies we're gonna get out of three pumpkins. We'll see, I think we have a lot more at the house anyway, and I didn't grab the wheat, so we will not be be uh, making more cows right now. That's okay though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the uh, the episode, please remember to hit that like button. If um, if you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button if you want to see a little bit more from me. If you have not seen the previous episodes and you want to see uh, how we got to this point, feel free to do so as well. Um, yeah, and have a have a great day.